Minister for our, co our phone conversation in advance of the bombing raids on Friday night and for an advanced copy of her statement today. I also join her in paying tribute to Sergeant Matt Tunro, the SAS sniper from Manchester who was killed on the 28th of March with US forces in northern Syria, and Master Sergeant Jonathan Dunbar from Texas who was killed in the same attack. I welcome the fact that all British military personnel involved have returned home safely from this mission. The attack in Douma was a horrific attack on civilians using chemical weapons part of a civil war that has killed hundreds of thousands of people. Mr Speaker, this statement serves as a reminder that the Prime Minister is accountable to this Parliament, not to the whims of the US President. We clearly, we clearly, need, we clearly need a War Powers Act in this country to transform a now broken convention into a legal obligation. Her predecessor came to this House to seek authority for military action in Libya and in Syria in 2015, and the House had a vote over Iraq in 2003. There is no more serious issue than the life and death matters of military action. It is right that Parliament has the power to support or stop the Government from taking planned military action. And, Mr Speaker, the BBC reports that the Prime Minister argued for the bombing to be brought forward to avoid parliamentary scrutiny. Will she today confirm or deny those reports? I believe, Mr Speaker, the action was legally questionable. And on Saturday... April, up to 75 people, including young children, were killed in a horrific attack in Douma with as many as 500 further casualties. All indications are that this was a chemical weapons attack. UK medical and scientific experts have analysed open source reports, images and video footage from the incident and concluded that the victims were exposed to a toxic chemical. This is corroborated by first-hand accounts from NGOs and aid workers. While the World Health Organisation received reports that hundreds of patients arrived at Syrian health facilities on Saturday night with signs and symptoms consistent with exposure to toxic chemicals. And based on our assessment, we do not think that these reports could be falsified on this scale. Furthermore, Mr Speaker, the Syrian regime has reportedly been attempting to conceal the evidence by searching evacuees from Douma to ensure samples are not being smuggled from this area and a wider operation to conceal the facts of the attack is underway, supported by the Russians. Absolutely. Mr Speaker, the images of this suffering are utterly haunting. Innocent families, seeking shelter in underground bunkers, found dead with foam in their mouths, burns to their eyes, and their bodies surrounded by a chlorine-like odour.